Okay, Michigan is cold, wet, and rainy today, so if I need a garden project, it needs to be inside. So, I went outside and picked rosemary, and then I took all my tall sprigs, I pulled all of the little branches off, all little leaves, and then I've got one of these arrow gardens, so they're full of water, and they've got these little sleeves I bought, and I'm going to put this rosemary in here, and I'm going to let all these grow roots. And then I'm going to put them in little pots in my house for the winter. Now, full disclaimer, I'm very good at starting these. Not so great at keeping them alive once I put them in the dirt. But I'm still going to try. So that's why there's six of them. I also have cats, two cats, that like to play with things on the counters. So there are six here. The cats will probably get at least two or three. I will kill another two. And hopefully there's one alive. So I have a rosemary plant started not necessarily. I could use it over the winter, but I might let it just grow so that in the spring, I have got a nice rosemary start to put outside. Um, in Michigan, at least in my area, I've been unsuccessful at overwintering rosemary. Even if I try and keep it close to my house, I've heard it can be done, but no good. I'm going to take this rosemary leaves that I pulled off. I'm going to put them in my mortar and pestle with some good salt, and I'm going to make rosemary salt that I could use um, as a rub, maybe on pork or something. So let me get that going. So all I'm doing is putting about half of my rosemary in there. I'm gonna add a decent amount of salt because remember this is going to be a salt, like a rub on a steak or something or probably on pork. And then I'm just gonna do this and beat the heck out of it. Release all the oils and keep mashing. And I'm gonna keep doing this until it, I can add them more. I'll add a little more salt and we'll see what happens. Okay, here's what's happening. I don't know if you can see very good but in there my salt is getting infused beautifully with rosemary but my rosemary leaves are not going to break down because they're too big i kind of want the flecks of rosemary and the salt together so i think i'm going to cut up some of this rosemary really fine take out this rosemary and add the fine rosemary with the rosemary salt and see what i end up with all right take two let's go Much smaller now. Now we're going to take two. Also, a reminder, I'm not an expert on this. This is an experiment in my kitchen. I'm sure if you went on the internet and Googled ways to make herbal salts, you would find people way more learned than I am. And now we're going to add a little bit more salt. Let's start crushing it. Hey guys, look at this. Isn't she pretty? I'm going to get her in a jar. A couple things about this. I end up using a pretty good deal amount of salt because I want this to be salty. Like I want to use it as a rub. Um, you could do it in a different, um, a different percentage, a different ratio of salt to rosemary if you wanted. Also, I think you can do it with almost any herb. This is my first time making this one. Like I said, I just did it because I didn't want to waste all those leaves I pulled off that rosemary and I already have some dried. So I'm gonna put this in a cute jar and um, actually I lied. First, I'm gonna dry it. Um, because I use fresh rosemary and not dried rosemary, there's some moisture in there. If I put it in a jar, it's gonna grow mold or bacteria. So I'm gonna lay it out flat on a sheet and then once it's all dry, I'll put it in a pretty jar. All right, there she is. There is it all spread out, just on a cloth right here on my counter. You could put this in a dehydrator. I have a dehydrator, but um, it's got parsley in it. So I'm just gonna put it on this tray on my counter. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it until it's mostly dry, until I can feel that it's dry and I don't feel any moisture. I'm gonna pack it in that jar with a little desiccant pack. Um, you know those packs that you get in anything? at all that ships to you. I just save those in a cupboard and then when I do things like this I grab one out and I put it in there with this and I'll be good to go.